So I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna do something that's a little bit chill, not very PVM. I'm gonna do Tithe Farm. And that's because I think that there is a task to plant like a hundred of each tier of the seeds. And with my Farmer's Relic, this should be very nice. Should be very fast. So this should instantly grow. Oh my God, dude, Tithe Farm is gonna be so easy. <laughs> I just gotta sit here and do this and then collect the XP and the points. There we go, plant a hundred Golovanova seeds. Yeah, dude, 80 points and I'm looking real good. And the next tier of seeds is the Bologanos. And here's a farming level 96. There's the task to plant 100 Bologano seeds. And also in the same clip, we might as well just go ahead and get 97 farming. Why not? Here they are, the Logavanos. And let's see the XP drop on the highest tier of the seeds. It's gonna be 567,000. Are you serious, dude? That is so crazy. And it looks like we're capped out on points, so I'm gonna see if I can spend some. Might as well buy the seed box. And I guess that was a task, look at that. Is it gonna be a task to buy this can? It is not. There is 98 farming. Looks like we're definitely gonna get 99 tonight after this task is over. There it is. Plant 100 Lovagano seeds, 80 points. I could be wrong, but I think that that is the last, the last task at Tithe Farm. So yeah, I'll double check. But after we have one more batch of 100, that should be 99 farming. There's the last one. And here we go. 99 farming. That's 200 more league points. Yeah, we got a bunch of tasks done right there. So I cannot complain. There we go. There's 99 crafting. That probably came out of absolutely nowhere. I got a little inspired by the 99 farming and just decided to real quick grind that out. So we got nine and a half million XP in less than an hour. And there's another 99 added to the collection. I think that before I get into some more PVM on this account, I want to get this tier eight relic. I'm super close to it, less than 2000 points. I should be able to do that in just like a couple hours of task grinding, but it is past 1 AM here. So I'm gonna go to bed, but in the morning, in the morning, we will get this tier eight and it'll be beautiful. Oh, there's a league task to complete a speed combat task. We just killed his spore in 47 seconds. That's pretty cool. And we're gonna get one more task done right here. As you can probably see, we're gonna go fight the Leviathan boss for the first time on this account. Should be pretty easy, especially with our range relic. I'm not gonna do more than just one kill because I'm gonna wait for the Zarite crossbow to actually like grind out this boss because it should be really fun with the crossbow upgrade. Dude, we don't even need Shadow Barrage for these kills. There we go, one KC at Leviathan is done. We got 101 gold ore and 80 league points. I am less than 600 points away from my tier eight relic, which means that three 200 point tasks should do it. And luckily I have three 200 point tasks lined up that are pretty easy to get. So this is gonna be the first one right here. I just gotta switch over to the ancient spellbook, come over here and study at this lectern and make myself a Gorok teleport tab. This requires 96 magic, which I exactly have. And there you go, 200 points. And there we go, blow 100 light orbs, that's 200 points. Oh, restore 75 per points at an altar. I was not trying to get that task, but you know, I'll take it. And there it is, 35 million range XP is the final task. That gives us 200 points and enough points to unlock our tier eight relic. Oh my God, dude, it's finally here. <laughs> I have been neglecting my tasks so much. I'm sure everyone else already has like, you know, over 30,000 points and I'm only here barely with enough to unlock a new relic, but you know what? We're here. All relics are finally unlocked. Now, what are we gonna pick is the question. I'm just gonna spoil it. That's Executioner, I'm picking Executioner. Uh, what this does is it gives you an ax that will literally just one shot kill any enemy that is under 20% health. So I think it works out perfectly that if it's above 20% health, you can use the Zarya crossbow to dump specs. And when it's under 20% health, you can just finish it off with the ax. And also items from sources will be five times as common. So that means we can just do whatever kind of PVM we want without worrying about, oh, well, it could be more common if I had this relic because we now have the executioner relic and I need to be next to a bank. And here we go. The executioner relic has been unlocked. Where is it? There it is, the Sage's Axe. Oh my God, dude. Now we can get our PVM adventures really started. And I think we already have a next team lined up. 
So let's go test this bad boy out in Nex, shall we? All right, as soon as Nex's health drops below 20, I can use the ax and just watch this. You ready? You ready? You ready? Here we go. Just finish her off. <laughs> That's so sick. Skip the whole enrage phase. And we get Dragon Bolts and the MVP. Oh, there's a league task for killing Nex 50 times. Yo, the Torva plate body. Oh my god, dude. Well, I guess I was saving my RNG for uh, the melee gear. Next doesn't want to give me any range gear, just wants to give me some of the melee stuff. That's fine, you know. I want the full Torva eventually anyway. All right, taking a bit of a break from Next right now. I decided after getting those Torva pieces that I'm going to get my smithing up a little bit. And that is because, if you don't know, you need level 90 smithing in order to actually make Torva armor. And luckily we have a plus 12 boost from Production Prodigy. But still, you know, that means I gotta get to like level 78. But I did just hit an important milestone. I got to 73 smithing, which means I can officially make my own crossbow bolts, my own Addy bolts for ruby and diamond bolts. Normally the way I'd get these is from Soul Wars, but now I can make them myself, which is pretty cool. And there is 78 smithing. I can't believe we got this from just these mithril bars I had in my bank. But that's 90 with the boost, which means that we can now make ourselves Torva armor as soon as we get Bandos pieces to break them down. So there we go, level 80 smithing. Pretty crazy. We can now make ourselves that Armadil God Sword that we got in the last video or two videos ago or whenever it was. Um, we can now make that Armadil God Sword without our boost. <laughs> so yeah, we're definitely going to take care of that. Hey, here's a quick fletching level coming in. We can now make rune darts. Anyway, it's not important. What is important is we are making ourselves a god sword blade. There we go. God sword blade is completed. I can put that on there. And we got ourselves an armadil god sword. Equipping a god sword is a 200 point task. So I think I'm actually going to go over to God Wars Dungeon again. We're going to fight General Grardor and see if I can get any Bandos pieces. All right, we're all geared up. Going to head on over to God Wars. We're already set up over there with our last recall. Here's General Grardor. We're pretty much just going to be kiting him around the room as best we can, shooting him with diamond bolts, keeping our health high, and then, of course, using our brand new Sage's Axe to clear him off when it when his health hits less than 20%. And the Axe. It's too easy, man. <laughs> it's too easy with the Axe. Oh, no way, dude. No way. The Bandos Hilt? That's the best drop I could have gotten, dude. I was really hoping I would get this one, but I wasn't sure if I was going to stick around for it if I got the full armor set. 19 KC Bandos Hilt. That is insane. There it is. Dismantle that. We are going to put the Bandos Hilt on the blade instead. And dude, this is a god sword. This is one we need. <laughs> what? Dude, Bandos boots? Let's go. Get me out of here. That was... Uh, with one kill in between, we got the hilt, then we got coins, then we got the Bandos boots. We're going to put those on. That should be 200 points for equipping a piece of the Bandos set. Oh my god, dude. Bandos chest plate. Let's go. <laughs> I think I did the exact same reaction for the boots where I did that. So sorry about that. But dude, Bandos chest plate. We're at two out of three already, plus the hilt at 27 KC. That is freaking insane. I got a duplicate of the chest plate, and this should give me three Bandos components. And you need one to make this and two to make this. And, you know, I'll check my math. I'm pretty sure one plus two is three. So I can use my extra chest plate to make my Torva full helm and my Torva plate body. So let's go take care of that real quick. Okay, this is the Ancient Forge. I should be able to just put the Bandos chest plate into here, I think. Yeah, melt it down into three Bandosian components. Gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. And I can use this anvil right here. There it is. 81 smithing and look at us go. Equip a piece of Torval armor is 200 points. This outfit doesn't do it justice, but this is two thirds of the best melee strength gear in the entire game. So feeling pretty good about that. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, oh the AGS, it does have a use. There it is, the Dragon Defender. Took us 18 kills to get it. And of course it has an inventory tag on it because I used to be a noob. I'm sorry you had to see that. I can just pop this on and there we go. 
Equip a Dragon Defender is only 80 points. I thought it might be a little more than that, but that is our best in slot melee offhand right there. Oh my god, that's it. We're done. We are done. We got the Bandos Tacits, dude. Bandos is now discontinued content. And then that is equipping the full Bandos armor set for 200 points. I thought it was gonna be 400, but I guess it's 200. So I think I'm also gonna go take on the final God Wars dungeon boss and get myself the Zamorakian Spear. And that'll be a good stab weapon for Tombs of a Masket until I get myself a Fang. And then once I got a Fang, then it's just over for the rest of the bosses because we're gonna be poking everybody. So yeah, let's head over to Krill Sutsaroth. We got the pet in the last league or the last Trailblazer league, which is cool. And uh, let's see if we can get any of these drops. I also want the Staff of the Dead because this can auto-cast Arceus spells. So I can use Thralls and auto-cast Arceus spells. Um, so yeah, I kind of want these two. Maybe I want the Hilt as well just because I've gotten two Hilts so far. Yeah, I don't know. No point hyping it up. Let's go gear up for some Krill Sutsaroth. Oh, dude, the Staff of the Dead. Yes, that is so sick. <laughs> Let me just pop that on and get a bunch of points. 200 points for that one. In the last Trailblazer League, I actually did like over 500 kills at Krill Sutsaroth because I was hunting this item right here and I never ended up getting it. So it's kind of funny that that's the first drop I get at 12 KC. Oh, well there's the Steam Battle Staff. Like I said, this shouldn't be a task to put it on, but it's a collection log slot, that's kind of cool. Oh, dude, that's it, we're done! Oh my god, 200 combat achievement points for, I don't even know what that was. And we can go ahead and equip this. That is going to be another 200 points. Oh my god, dude, we're done at Zami in 21 kills. Can you believe it? <laughs> That's insane. And we have this really good stab weapon here, um, which is going to be our best in slot weapon at the Tombs of a Masket until we get the Fang, so... We actually kind of have all we need to start grinding out some tombs. You know, there's nothing else we can really wait for. We have the five times drop multiplier. We have all the best gear for it. I think we can take on some solos as well. The only thing is our magic isn't very good, but that's not an issue, I don't think. Yeah, let's try a solo TOA. Let's try it out. Now, I'm pretty sure that after this right here, I can just like skip the entire enrage phase because I have the axe. So let's try this out. Axe in hand. Throw it, throw it again, throw it again, and that's the raid complete. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I didn't have to do the enrage phase at all. <laughs> that was so fun, dude. Hitting it at 20% health, lowered it into the enrage phase, and then throwing another axe just cleared the enrage phase. So yeah, there we go, level 300 raid completed. Let's see if we get a purple. It is not a purple, something I'm used to seeing, but it is what it is. I was extremely comfortable with that raid, so I could probably bump it up a little bit. All right, let's finish this raid. I will never get sick of this part. We're gonna milk it. I would love to get a fang. Oh my God, how is that a white light? How is that a white light? I even bumped up to 335 raid level. I got five times drop multiplier. I'm cringing over here. All right, this might be a complete mistake, but I'm gonna go for a 500. The hardest part of this is easily going to be the Akka orb phase with the Zamorakian spear instead of a fang, but I think we can do it. I mean, come on, why not? We have unlimited food with Banker's Note. If I need more food, I can just eat more food. I'm essentially just doing like a 300. I have softcore run on. I have the timed invocations turned off. Walk the path is still on. All this stuff is still on. It's all still on, except I turn Blazing Tombs 1 on, which pretty much just makes the raid harder in general, but doesn't like increase like it doesn't give any new mechanics it just makes like the boss's stats higher and all that so we will see how we do even in a 500 he is no match for my beautiful axe that was a 500 level raid without dying grandmaster combat task right there we 100 percent have the fang kit and all the other kits waiting for us in that chest when we get there but the question is do we get a purple i'm super excited to find out I better see a purple, man. This is a level 500 raid in leagues. I think it's almost a guaranteed purple, but you know, let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, <laughs> oh baby, there it is. Oh, that's so exciting. I am not used to seeing purples, as you know, from watching Dune Lord, but 
Here we go. Guaranteed 500 kit in there. If we get the Fang right here, then that's going to be a lot of points. But let's see what we get. Oh, <laughs> there it is, dude. Masori Chaps. I'll take it. Oh, I forgot all that stuff was coming. Yes. Look at all that, dude. Just collection long slots and cool stuff to see. But we got the Masori Chaps. We can put those on for 200 points. And we can even upgrade these with the uh, Armadil armor right here. I could break down this Armadil chain skirt, put it inside my Missouri Chaps, and we can get the fortified version, which should be even more cool. So let's go take care of that. All right, so I'm pretty sure I can just use a chisel on the Armadil chain skirt. This will break it down into three Armadillion plates. Really break it apart, yes. There we go, we got the plates. And then I think I can just use them on there. Fortified Missouri Chaps with three Armadillion plates. Yes, please. I don't know what I'm hammering, but there we go. Fortified Missouri Chaps. We are looking... I don't know if this outfit goes good together. <laughs> but either way, we got it. Nice, nice, nice. It better be a purple. <laughs> no milk. We open straight away. I would love a fang, a new piece of Missouri, or a shadow. Let's see it. Ah, oh, ring number two. Okay. <gasps> Yo, the plate legs! Yes, we finished the set. We finished the set. We have full Torva on the account. Yo, that's sick. Let me go make those right now. Okay, I'm going to go over here to the Ancient Forge. And I'm going to, unfortunately, destroy our Bandos Tacits. I like the Bandos Tacits. You know, I really do. But you know what I like more is having best in slot armor. I think I just got to use it on this. And there we go. We got the Torva plate legs. <laughs> Let's go put the full set on and get a ton of points. Oh, yeah, dude. Looking good. Full set of Torva armor, 400 points. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that we got this on the way to the Zarek crossbow. And also on the way to the Van Braces. I don't have the Van Braces either, but I'm going to stay for the horn and for the Van Braces. I don't know if I would have stayed for full Torva. I like to think I probably would have, but... Now it's like guaranteed that once I have the horn and the van braces, we're done with next. So pretty cool to see. There's 96 defense just from throwing the axe. And we get, yes, yes, dude, the Zarya van braces. Let's go. <laughs> we got the best in slot van braces on the account. Best in slot range gloves in the whole game. And I have them and I am very happy right now. It's been a couple white lights in a row. That's what I like to see, baby. Give me that purple. Yes, dude. Let's go. <laughs> That's what, exactly what I wanted. Osmumpton's Fang. Ooh, baby. What is that? How many purples is that? That is my fourth purple for Osmumpton's Fang. We're going to pop that on right there. That is 200 points. And this is our new best in slot stab weapon. And honestly, our best in slot melee weapon. The Zamorakian Spear arc of the account was short-lived, but, you know, are we really going to miss it? And there's one more, even cooler thing that I'm going to use with the Fang. So we got 200 points for equipping the Fang, and then we can put this ornament kit onto it and get the Fang kit for another 400 points and a much cooler-looking Fang. So we could even use the uh, Defender now, the Dragon Defender, so it's even more powerful. Melee setup is looking good, honestly. We get a purple! Oh, <laughs> I called it. I mean, called it is a strong word because it's boosted rates up the ass, but still, either way. All right, what do we get? Something new, please. Masori or a shadow. Masori or a shadow is what I would like to see. Oh, yes, dude, that's so good. That's so good. That's what we've been waiting for, the Masori mask. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Pop that on, we're looking good, two thirds of the way. We could even uh, upgrade this. We could even upgrade this. So let's go take care of that, shall we? It's gonna be a purple. There's no way it's not a purple, yeah. Just whose is it? It's my purple. <laughs> yeah, let me get the Missouri body. Let's get the Missouri body and just be done with it, you know? Just complete the set, why not? Okay. Oh my God, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> We're done with Masori. Back-to-back -back raids, dude. What the hell? Yes. Dismantle the Armadillo chest plate. Yes, I really want to do it. Let's use this on this. Fortify it. 
And there it is, equip a full set of Masori F. Dude, we're looking good. Okay, another day, another couple games of Soul Wars done. Let me just go ahead and get all this XP. Two and a half million prayer XP, bring us up to level 93. Should I just keep going? Yeah, let, let's, let's get 99 tonight. I don't know what inspired it, but just the unlimited cap, I feel like I'm gonna keep going. Let's get 99 prayer tonight. I have exactly 2,000 zeal to spend. I don't know at all how much prayer XP this is gonna get me. I'm just gonna put it all into there. 2,000, we end up getting 6.2 million. Oh my God, that's 99. <laughs> Dude, that is so freaking cool. Oh my God, bro. Okay, 99 prayers done. I thought it was gonna go like up to three or 4,000 zeal, but no, nah, that was more than enough. We have 99 prayer on the account. All right, guys, this is kind of random, but I actually got a group for a challenge mode, Chambers of Zarek. So we're gonna see how this goes. We're almost done with the raid. We just gotta finish this up real quick and we will see how it goes. All right, this is it. Do we get a purple? We did get a purple. Oh, what do we get? What do we get? Not another Dex, bro. It, it could have at least been an Arcane. Oh, come on. Let's just finish this raid. See the white light. Oh, it's a purple. I got an Elder Maul? Are you kidding me? How are you trying to tell me I got a Mega Rare, dude? <laughs> what the hell is this, bro? And here we go. 300 next, Casey. <laughs> That's a combat task or a league task, I mean. 200 points, we are, I think, very dry for the crossbow, so we're just gonna keep on going until we get it, I guess. No, <laughs> oh my God, bro. That is helmet number five. We just need two more pairs of legs and we're having a good time, right? Five Torva sets, why not? Oh, the ancient hilt, yo! I didn't even expect I would get this at all, dude. That means that once I get the Nile Horn, I have every single thing I need from Nex. It won't be green logged unless I get the pet, but dude, that is a sick drop to get. <gasps> Holy! Dude, that is a Dragon Warhammer right there. What the hell? Equip a Dragon Warhammer, 200 points. Let's go, dude. That was at 284 KC. I just decided to come here after Nex. Oh man, that's crazy. Anything from the superior? Oh, an eternal gem. Oh my God. Dude, that is so rare. That could have been the imbued heart, but um, you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. Don't know how useful it's gonna be, but that's still pretty cool to see. Here it is, ring bling. We're gonna buy this. We can now make our own Slayer rings. And it turns out that this eternal gem we got isn't so useless after all. And let me show you why. So I can make this into an eternal Slayer ring. Just like that. And apparently that's a task to equip an Eternal Slayer Ring, a 200 point task. So it wasn't so worthless after all, even though I don't really get a lot of benefit from the teleports. I have unlimited teleports to the Stronghold, which is in Kandarin, Mauritania, which is in Mauritania, and Relica, which is in Fremnik. So completely useless teleports. Yeah, the only thing we get out of it is 200 points, but I'll still take that. Oh my God, we got it! Yes! It's finally over! <laughs> we got the Nile Horn! I am so done here! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm leaving, I'm leaving. 365 KC, and we are done with Nex. Let's check this collection log. We got everything except for the pet. A lot of Torva pieces. We got the Ancient Hilt. Over a thousand Nile shards. All right, I think maybe I just use the horn on the ACB. Create a Zarite crossbow. Oh my God, there it is. <laughs> 200 points, but I don't even care about that, dude. We got it, the best weapon on the account. This, the whole account's been leading up to this item right here. The Weapon Master Ranger is complete. Now I have finally unlocked my full potential. I could do whatever content I want. I could fight Leviathan. I can do TOA without feeling guilty. Chambers, dude, I am so happy about this. All right, everybody, there is one boss that I have been holding off on until I got the Zarek crossbow. And now that we finally have it, 
I feel like I'm gonna waste no time and just hop right into doing it. It's the Leviathan, if you can't tell. We're headed over to the Leviathan right now. I just want you guys to see the decimation. I just want you to see how we demolish this poor boss. And there you go, that's how we finished it off with the ax. That was still a slow kill. Okay, I definitely think I need a way to restore my health and prayer in between every kill. So I think we're gonna go back to what we were doing before and get the Elite Desert Diary done so that we can, you know, have unlimited teleports to the Narda Fountain, but we still need the Dragon Dart tips in order to do that. So I just decided to do the Hunter route. Why not? There's the last Chinchampa for level 80. We can now catch Herbivores on Fossil Island, which is gonna be pretty much the only Hunter I do for the rest of this entire account in the League because I love me some Herbivore. So I'm gonna go do that right now. We're gonna do Herbie from level 80 to level 83, and that should get us Dragon Implings, and then we can catch ourselves some Dragon Implings and get some Dragon Dart Tips. And there we go, there's 83 Hunter. We can now catch Dragon Implings. So let's head over to Puro Puro and try and find some. Come on, baby, give it to me. Give me the Dragon Dart Tips. Yes, we freaking got them, let's go, dude. There we go. 200 points, complete the Elite Desert Diary. And now we get one of the best upgrades that we can get on the account. I'm gonna talk to my boy Jar over here. We got the Desert Amulet 4, and that gives us unlimited teleports to right here, the Elodinus statuette. And I can restore all my health, prayer, I guess run energy, but that's not important. So every time I'm like fighting a boss, I need to restore my stats, I can teleport here, restore everything up, and then last recall back to where I was. And then it's pretty much just, you know, do this in between every kill and it's super efficient. We also get this antique lamp, which I'm gonna put into agility, of course. 800,000 agility XP. We are back at Leviathan. And let me show you how it's gonna go this time. And there we go, that's the kill. <laughs> Incredibly fast, we get a bunch of runite ore, 33 second PB. And then I can just teleport to Narda like this. Hopefully it should save my memory. It looks like it does. Restore my health and my prayer. Crystal of Memories back. And it takes us right here outside the boat and we can go in for another kill. So it's a pretty good system. And as you can see, it was very much worth getting the Desert Elite Diaries done for that because we can just get right back into the kills. Oh, there's the Scarred Tablet. First thing on the collection log, this goes into the ring. So now we can just teleport right to the Scar which is cool. Um, obviously I don't need it for in between each kill, but I do need it for getting here for the first kill of the trip. So I'll take it. Oh, we actually got it, dude. 41 KC. Are you kidding me? Oh, I love this game sometimes, man. No task for equipping it, huh? Missed opportunity, I'm gonna say. And now the only diary we have left is the Karendin Kebos one, which requires 95 Slayer, so I guess it's time to train some Slayer. We just got ourselves a Greater Demons task, and I think I'm actually gonna go kill Krill Sutsaroth, the Zamorak God Wars dungeon boss, um, for that Slayer task, because he counts as a Greater Demon. I know I said earlier that I'm done with Krill. I got everything I need from him. Staff of the Dead, the Spear, and the Steam Battle Staff. I got that all in 21 KC, and I got the pet in the last Trailblazer League, but I still have the Zamorak Hilt to go, and there's a huge League task to equip every single God Sword. So I do want to eventually get this Hilt, so I might as well do all my Greater Demons tasks there. <laughs> okay, I guess we take those. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me, dude. We actually got it at 34 KC? Hold on a second. Dude, there is absolutely no way <laughs> we just green logged Krill Suits are off. Obviously the pet wasn't from this league, but 34 KC for everything else? Are you kidding? Wait a minute, am I at four out of five God Swords right now? I have Zamorak, I have Nex, I have Kriara, I have Bandos. Oh my God, dude. I guess we're going back to Commander Zilliana eventually for the Ceridoman Hilt. That's the only one we have left. Dude, I cannot believe our luck at uh, God Wars. Don't look at the crossbow, we forget about that, but I don't know, Krill specifically, that boss has always been very good to me. Oh, there's level 91 Slayer. We can now fight Cerberus on the account. 
and I'm super excited to do that and start getting some boot upgrades and also it's just a fun boss, but yeah, I'm gonna finish this worm task because it's probably in my best interest since we're going for 99 and then we'll probably skip for a hellhounds task. Oh, dude, we actually got the dragon harpoon. That is so cool, man. Oh God, this is gonna be great for the temperos grind. <laughs> Another dragon harpoon on the last kill of the task. So this is gonna be the method for Cerberus. We run in, we use our ruby bolts, and honestly, I don't even think we need to worry about the ghosts at all. I think we just gotta kinda get it under 20% health, throw the ax, and then that's the kill. One Cerberus, Casey. 200 points for defeating Cerberus before she summons skulls. Oh my god, dude. Kind of insane, actually. And a leak test to defeat a Slayer boss. I guess I've never done that before. In between every kill, we're gonna go teleport to Narda, recharge our stuff at the fountain, and another leak task to defeat Cerberus. That was a lot of leak tasks right there. And 100 combat achievements done. Oh my god, dude. We are, we're popping off right now. We are absolutely popping off. Okay, we got a smoldering stone. Ah, uh, do I have a use for this? I guarantee I have a use for it. I just don't know what it is yet, man. There is 50 KC, and that is a league task for 80 points. And with the throw of my mighty axe, that's the last kill on the task. We get nothing, and that was a really short Hellhounds task. That only took like 15 minutes. There we go. We got the Grandmaster speed run time there, sub 25 minutes. That was like a 23 minute fight, Caves. Oh god, we got 139 Abyssal Demons, which I think you guys know what that means. We are going to be doing the Abyssal Sire boss. So after a bit of world hopping, we finally found a world, and I'm going to test and see how viable ranging this boss is. I've never tried to range it before, but yeah, let's find out. Dude, this in combination with Last Recall is crazy. I can do this like in the middle of the fight. If I'm just like low on health or something, I just need like an oh shit button. I can just teleport away, restore my stats, and then come back in. Dude, is that a 1kc unsired? I love this game so much. <laughs> Man, this is a popular spot. I've already run into two people here. Let's see what we get. Okay, it's just a whip, but that's another 80 points right there. We take those. There we go, unsired number two at 30kc. We're gonna wake the sire up and barrage it like normal. But this time, instead of recharging our health in between, phases we are gonna be doing the unsired in between phases let's see what we get come on <laughs> the jar oh dude that's actually good i think there's definitely a task to build a jar thing in the house and then to display a jar so we will do that eventually okay okay one kill before we hit 95 slayer we get another unsired actually we get 95 slayer right here <laughs> off of the uh whatever it's called the vents, and we can now kill hydras, which we need for the elite Karen diary, and for the alchemical hydra boss, which is cool. And from this we get, oh dude, that is so good. I was really hoping we'd get the abyssal dagger. Okay, Unsired's dead. I thought we got a back to back because this guy just popped up on top of my chili potatoes, but we can equip the abyssal dagger and that is 200 points. And another Unsired, couple kills later, and another jar. All right, a bunch of big things just happened. We just got our 50th KC at Abyssal Sire, which was a 200 point task. And then 50 KC is a combat task. And it wasn't only a combat task, it was the last combat task at Abyssal Sire, which got us another 200 point task for completing every single one of Abyssal Sire's combat achievements. And those 400 league points that we just got actually got us up to rune rank, which is super exciting because this is the first time I've ever gotten anything higher than Adamant Cup in any league. Which is cool because I've actually been like, you know, really going for points this league compared to the last ones. I know just now getting rune rank isn't great compared to other people, but I am happy with my progress so far. I can see dragon in our future by the time the league's over, but rune cup is pretty cool to see. Let's see what we get for number five. Okay, our first bludgeon piece. Hell yeah, dude. Another dagger. Another bludgeon piece. Will this complete the bludgeon or get us the pet or will it be a duplicate? It completes the bludgeon. Hell yeah, dude. After this kill, or I guess after this task, I'll make the bludgeon and we'll get those points, but... And there's the very last kill of the Slayer task. We did 139 Abyssal Sire. I saved a couple more Unsires for us, so we got four more. After I unlocked the full bludgeon, I just figured, you know what, I'll just stack the rest and we'll see what we get. That task got us levels 95 and 96 Slayer, so... Yeah, successful task, I'd say. Let's go turn the rest of these in and see what we get.
All right, so first things first, I think I have to use the bludgeon pieces on this big monster, and then it leaves forever. But I can equip the bludgeon. That should be another 200 points. This is a really good crush weapon, but I'm trying to think of where I have a use case for crush weapons, maybe like Serachnus, but I'm sure I'd rather range Serachnus as a range build than <laughs> melee it, so I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, the most exciting part, we have four unsireds. I would like to see the pet. That's the only thing I want from these. Can we get a pet? That's a whip. That's another bludgeon piece. That's another bludgeon piece. Are we gonna complete a second bludgeon with this last one? All right, looks like... <laughs> oh, we didn't even complete another bludgeon. This is actually why I waited until after getting my bludgeon to stack the unsireds because normally you get them like one piece after the other, but if you stack on sires, then you have a chance to get duplicates, which is pretty lame. So yeah, no pet and two thirds of a second bludgeon. So that is the Abyssal Sire arc. And since I got you guys here, let's see what our next Slayer task is gonna be, huh? We got Skeletal Wyverns. I think I'm gonna skip for a Hydra task because that is something that I want. I'm pretty sure Duradel assigns Hydras. Actually, I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to go to Konar before I start skipping for Hydra tasks, and then I'm going to get a Hydra task from her. There we go. There's a Hydra's task. 118 of them. I'm sure there's definitely going to be some League tasks that are related to Hydra, and also the Corinne and Kebos Diary requires that I kill a Hydra in the Slayer dungeon. I'm not sure if the boss counts for that, but we will find out. But first, I guess I should take care of this. We're going to build an achievement gallery inside of our house, which I guess is 80 points. We're gonna build this boss lair space. And if we put this jar that we got from the Abyssal Sire in there, that is 200 points. Okay, we just got a bunch of stuff there. We pretty much got every single one of the mechanical Hydra combat tasks because we skipped every single phase of the kill with our ruby bolts. But this is the biggest one it looks like. A league test for 400 combat achievement points, which is pretty crazy. We, of course, got the Grandmaster Speed Chaser task, one Alchemical Hydra kill, and it did count for the Elite Karen task. Oh my god, dude. The Hydra's Claw on 13kc? <laughs> oh, I really wish that was useful. So yeah, in case you don't know, the Hydra's Claw is, I think, the rarest drop from Hydra. It's worth over, like, 40 million coins in the main game. Um, this is used to turn a Zamorakian Hosta into a Dragon Hunter Lance. Now, I have a Zamorakian Spear, but I can't actually turn it into the Hosta unless I have the Kandarin region unlocked. Which is unfortunate because I have two out of three of the regions required for the Lance, but not the third one. So, it's unfortunate, but it's still a cool drop to see. And we take those. Okay, there's a Hydra Leather. Another rare item that is a collection log slot, but unfortunately useless to us because we need Fremnik in order to make use of this. There's a league task for 50 Hydra KC and a new PB at 46 seconds. And there we go, master combat task, working overtime, that is 15 kills in one singular trip. Wasn't hard at all with Banker's Note, as you could probably imagine. Oh, there's the Hydra's Heart. That is the ring completed, you guys. Let's go bank, I wanna make this right now. There we go, brimstone ring, it's gotta be a task, surely. Okay, there we go, only 80 points. Unfortunate, but you know, 80 points nonetheless. This ring is really good at all three attack styles, so if I need any kind of tribriding, um, this is gonna be good, but you know, honestly, I feel like the light bear is just kind of better in almost every single situation, especially since I'm a weapon master and my special attacks is kind of like my whole thing, so. I think there's probably gonna be uses for the brimstone ring, but most of the time the light bear is gonna be better. There's 98 Slayer. Only one more to go for the big 99. Dude, we just hit 200 million range XP. Look at that. <laughs> we are no longer gaining range experience in the Trailblazer Reloaded League. <gasps> Yo, we got Celaster Seeds. Okay, this is massive. This is massive, and I don't even think you guys know why. So I don't know how much you guys are paying attention, but... You know how I said that I was getting 95 Slayers so that I can do the Elite Karen Diary? Well, obviously I have a Hydra kill done by now, and I still haven't completed this diary. And that is because we are waiting on one single item, which is to create my own battle staff from scratch within the Farming Guild, which you get from uh, a Celastris tree. So I needed a Celastris seed in order to get the diary done. 
I know that Hydra had a rare chance to drop them, so it's cool that we got it from there. Um, I was planning on maybe trading in the Brimstone Keys that I was getting from this Konar task to maybe have a chance to get the Slasher Seed, but it doesn't matter because we got the Slasher Seeds, and now we can finish up the Diary, which I guess I'll do right now because I do get some benefit at Hydra from that. So first things first, we got the Spirit Saplings, which I'm just going to go ahead and plant right now. Bunch of XP from that. I'm planting one at the Farming Guild, and one over here in Brimhaven. There we go. And it's definitely a league task, I think, to travel between two spirit trees that I have myself. Yeah, there we go. It is 200 points. I wasn't expecting that, but, you know, deserved, honestly. Deserved. We have one spirit sapling left. I'm actually going to use this in my POH, but I'm not going to take care of that right now. And as for the Celastris tree, we're going to grow that, harvest some of the bark from it. And then I think I just got to turn this into a battle staff. And there we go. That's the elite Karen task complete right there. And here we go. Create this Apatol tab right there. That's the elite task done. And that is every single Karen and Kebos elite diary done. And not only that, it is every single diary that we could possibly do in the entire game taken care of, which is pretty sick. So let's go get our final lamp. 800,000 XP. We are level 97. Uh, the other thing that's cool is now that we have the Elite Diary done, we don't need to wear the Boots of Stone whenever we're fighting something in the Karum Slayer dungeon, which is where the Hydra is. So now instead of wearing the Boots of Stone, I can wear boots that give like better attack bonuses or prayer bonus or something. I think I'm actually going to wear my Holy Sandals for prayer bonus. And here it is, 150 KC. We get a bunch of points for this one. 80 for hitting 150 KC. And that's also a Master Combat task to hit 150 KC, which completes all of the Alchemical Hydra combat achievements for 200 points. So that's 280 points we just got for hitting that KC milestone. And it looks like we only have six more Hydras to go until the big 99. Here it is, guys. 99 Slayer. 200 more points. And another maxed skill on the account on the way to max. Uh, that one was uh, a bit of a grind. You know, Slayer, even in the League, is a little bit of a slower skill. But luckily, it's super fun, especially when you have Slayer bosses to kill. We're not going to finish this task up right now because I kind of want to do something more chill. But yeah, another 99 down. Yo, 35 million farming XP from Hispori. So I'm just kind of bank standing right now, doing stuff like crafting and whatever XP I can find just sitting in my bank. And uh, I've been making a lot of potions, and check this out, 99 herb lore. 200 more points, and another 99 down. All right, you guys, I'm going to be going for another 99 today. And uh, I think you can probably tell what it is. If you can't, then you might not play this game. So welcome to Old School RuneScape. We're going to be training construction today. We're starting out at level 89, and I'm going to be doing mahogany homes the whole way to 99. I think I should have enough planks, or at least logs in the bank to take care of this. I'm doing one run with regular planks because there is a league's task to do a beginner contract. And back when I did this before, I just started out at the adept contracts. I never, or at the novice ones, I never actually did a beginner one. So we're gonna do one beginner contract just for the task. All right, so I just completed that beginner Mahogany Homes contract with the regular planks. And that gave me 40 points, I think. And now that I am done with that, I'm gonna be doing better contracts all the way to 99. I got 555 Mahogany planks. And after I'm finished with all those, then I think we have a ton of teak logs in the bank. Yeah, so these, these should be more than enough to get to 99, I think. So yeah, this should only take a couple hours because it's going to be pretty fast. So let's get to work. And this is it. Going to turn in my last contract right here. Where is it? There we go. 99 construction, 200 more points. And another skill down on the road to max. Here's 95 hunter. And there's 96 hunter. And there's a little 97 hunter. And that's 2,200 total level for 200 more points. And 98 Hunter, one more to go. And here we are, you guys. This is the very last herbivore. And there it is, 99 Hunter. Just like how we got 99 Slayer and Herblore yesterday, today we got 99 Construction and Hunter. We're on a pretty good streak so far, I'm going to say. So I was just a motherload mine for a little bit. Uh, I got to level 88 mining, but I decided for some reason that I want to come here and mine iron rocks instead. If I'm going to mine iron rocks, then I'm going to put this smoldering stone to use. I'm going to put on my dragon pickaxe. We're going to make it into an infernal pickaxe, and this is going to be a league task. It's 200 points, dude. I'm getting so many 200 point tasks today. Pretty much, we're just going to be mining these rocks right here, and we should be getting a lot more XP per hour doing this than we are at motherload mine, and... I have the time to be just kind of clicking on rocks instead of AFKing the rocks. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. 
Hello, everybody. I don't remember what the last clip was <laughs> because it was like two days ago. I've been a little burnt recently, and I think it's literally just because of this skill. It's just because of mining. This is not a very enjoyable skill. Even AFKing it at Motherload Mine, like I just don't like being down in the caves, you know? So what did I do? I decided to just come here to the Iron Rocks, max the skill, there's 99 mining. I spent like all day here mining, just clicking rocks, and uh, we got it done, we got it out of the way. And now I can move on to some more fun skills. You can see we mined over 10,000 Iron Rocks today. Uh, but yeah, that's 200 more points, another 99 down. And I don't know what's next. Maybe smithing or something. I don't know. I'm not going to say what's next because I don't even know. And there's 96 smithing. And here's 97 smithing. And here's level 98 smithing. This is probably gonna be the last level that we get from all the bars that we made. But that's fine because it's, you know, one level to go until max level smithing. So doing Giant's Foundry shouldn't be too bad for only one level. Even though it's, it's kind of chill, but it's also like I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't know. All right, you guys, you know what I decided? I decided Frick Giants Foundry. That's right, I said it. I decided to come over to Soul Wars, and I actually got over 1,200 zeal tokens, and this is not going into XP. We're going to be buying Spoils of War with this. Now, the reason for that is because, like you know, we're close to 99 smithing, and you can actually get coal and mithril ore from Spoils of War, so we might even be able to get enough smithing supplies from these to get to 99. But also, we get a bunch of rune essence, or pure essence, from Spoils of War. And we're going to need that for 99 runecraft, because, you know, I don't want to really do Guardians of the Rift either. I'll probably do a couple games for some tasks, but for the most part, we want to do the Banker's Note altar method or whatever. So, yeah, we are going to be buying a bunch of Spoils of War. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't think we got a lot of pure essence, but we got a lot at the end right there, over 15,000. Almost 26,000 pure essence, which is cool. We got 2,500 coal and just about 950 mithril ore, so we'll see what this gets us as far as smithing supplies, and then we'll go from there. And this should be it right here. 99 smithing. That's 200 more points, and another step on the journey to max has been completed. Let's go hit up runecrafting and see if we have enough essence to get to 99. So we are on Entrana right now, and we're going to be doing law runes all the way to 99, because I'm pretty sure this is the highest level rune that I can craft. Level 54, we unlock Law Runes. I can't craft Death Runes without Tyrion Wind, Blood Runes without Mauritania, Soul Wars, there's no altar to craft them at, and Wrath Runes require Fremnik. So, yeah, Law Runes is the highest we can get to. Um, and after we hit level 95, we'll start crafting two Law Runes per essence. So, yeah, let's just get this started. We can just kind of one ticket like this, and we'll see how much XP we can get, and we'll see if 26,000 essence is enough to get to 99. So it looks like we did not get enough to get to 99, and we didn't even get enough to get to 98. We're very, very close to 98, as you can see. We we're getting like over 18 million XP an hour. And uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll get 99 Runecraft today too, but we're going to go to Guardians of the Rift to do that. Shouldn't take too long because it's only, you know, a little over one level to go. All right, and this is it. After this game is over, so is an entire skill. There's the XP drop, and there is 99 Runecraft. Oh, baby, that's another one done. And now we can loot this guy right here and see if we get anything cool. Damn, that was garbage, dude. <laughs> that was not good at all. So yeah, that is 99 Runecraft completed. Now, what skill are we going to max next? Because I guess we're on a maxing grind right now. We might as well just commit to it, right? I'm either going to be AFKing my melee stats or I'm going to do like Pyramid Plunder or Tempros. I haven't decided yet, but the next clip will show what I've decided to do. I have decided to do Pyramid Plunder. We're going to be going for 99 Thieving. I could probably get that today as well. That'll be my third 99 of the day. This is going to be pretty chill. I'm pretty much just rushing all the way to like the last two floors of Pyramid Plunder and then just like stealing all the artifacts and the XP priority should be pretty good. So I don't know. I'll see you at like the first level that I get and then by then I should have a pretty steady XP per hour that I can show you. There's level 92 Thieving and it looks like we're getting about 3 million XP an hour at the moment. And this should be it right here. 99 thieving. That's another 99 down. I feel like I say that every single time I get a 99, but I don't know what else to say, man. It's all the same. We got 99 thieving. Took us just a couple hours. We're averaging like 3.3 million thieving XP per hour. Got about 7 million XP. Um, I find it kind of weird that we got a Ferro Scepter on our first ever Pyramid Plunder. And all the way to 99, we didn't get a second one. The drop rate is supposedly boosted, but... It doesn't seem to be that way because we only have the one. All right, one more hit. There we go. There's 99 strength done. 
Now there's only three more to go until 99. We just need attack, fishing, and agility. I'm gonna switch over to the whip and we are gonna get started on attack training now. And here's a league task for 25 million crafting XP. This one probably came out of absolutely nowhere, but it's actually kind of relevant. So what we're gonna be doing is, I just took a break from training at crabs for attack. We ended up getting up to 93 attack and I'm at pest control right now. I'm gonna try out pest control um, because I'm pretty sure this is actually really good combat XP. It might be even better than just AFK and crabs. So I'm gonna test it out a little bit. And there's a task to complete a veteran game of pest control. And there's another 80 points to finish a game while the veteran Void Knight is above 150 hit points. Let's see, we get 64 Void Knight points for each one of these games. That's freaking crazy. We're already at 184 points. I've just been summoned to go to a league maxing party. So I'm just going to test out the XP with some of the points I have right now. I have enough for three of the XP drops. So what is 100 points? 862,000 XP. Okay, that's crazy. So there we go, there's 96. <laughs> Damn, we just got like three attack levels right there. Yeah, this is gonna be insanely fast. I can't believe I was wasting my time at Crabs. Yeah, we'll finish this pretty soon. And I think this is the last game of Pest Control finished up right there. But let me go double check and make sure. Starting off at level 96. We're currently level 97 and there's level 98. And yeah, here we go. This is gonna be the last of it. There is level 99 attack. Oh, we also got the task for 126 combat. Oh my god, that was 400 points right there. I feel absolutely foolish for not doing this um, at pest control the whole time. Like, I spent like four hours today AFKing at Ammonite Crabs. I was literally at pest control for probably like 15 minutes, and that's how long it took me to get from 93 to 99. So luckily I didn't spend a ton of time at Crabs, but definitely do your combat stats at pest control. It is 100% worth it. It was the fastest XP of all time. Anyway, there's only two skills left to max. We have agility and we have fishing. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the night doing Temperos and maybe we can even get to 99 fishing tonight. I don't know how fast the XP is gonna be because I have yet to do Temperos in the league, but that is what's next for us is Temperos and then we'll finish off with agility. Oh my God, base level 95s, that's 400 points. I didn't think it was gonna be that much. I thought it was gonna be like 200, but hey, you know, we got it. 400 more points. We're over 48,000 total now. And this is gonna be our very last game of Temperos right here. Just waiting for it to finish up. There we go. 105 KC, we're at 435 permits. And we did not get to 99 quite yet, but we're definitely gonna get to that because um, every time you loot one of the rewards, you get 160 fishing XP in the league that is. So that's gonna be just under 70,000 XP that we get just from looting this. So we're definitely gonna get to 99 through looting. So let's see what we get. There's a bunch of things that we can get from here that'll give me tasks. Um, so we will see if we get anything cool, but yeah, let's just get started on it. Hey, there's the tackle box, <laughs> the first unique that we get from here, but I'm pretty sure this is the only one that doesn't actually get us any league points, which is pretty cringe. Oh, there's the fish barrel, and that's a league task to obtain the fish barrel. 80 points for that. All right, we got three, two, one. And here it is, 99 fishing and 200 more league points. That's 2275 total level, only two more levels until max, which is of course agility, but we're gonna finish up all these reward permits that we have stacked up and we're gonna see what we get. Oh, there's the Tome of Water, dude, beautiful. Hold on, let me just pop that on right now. There we go, 40 points for the Tome of Water. I think all we need is the big harpoon fish now. Two, and here's the last one. We did not get a big harpoon fish, which is fine. I kind of expected it because, you know, Dune Lord's done like 8,000 <laughs> permits and didn't get a big harpoon fish either. So I just don't think they exist. But anyway, yeah, that is 99 fishing taken care of. We only have two more levels until max agility. And uh, yeah, let me show you how we're going to take care of that. And the highest level agility course that we can run is actually Palnivniche which I don't like this rooftop course that much, but it is what it is. If this is the best we can do, then it's the best that we can do. So I don't know how long this is gonna take. Hopefully we can get some good XP per hour, but yeah, we're doing this all the way to 99. Two million XP to go. And here's the first level, 98 agility. One more to go until we are maxed in the temporary game mode. <laughs> there we go, 143 laps of the Palm of Niche rooftop course, and that is all that we're gonna do because we are a humble 3,400 experience away from maxing. We're gonna get the boys together. We're gonna do this at Drainer Village. So I'm gonna head over there right now. 
All right, this is it. Once I get to the bottom of this, I will be maxed. Here we go. I can finally stop skilling <laughs> for a little bit on the account. There we go, 99 agility, 2277 total, 400 points for the maxing, and 200 points for 99 agility. We are maxed in the temporary game mode with increased XP rates, <laughs> all that stuff. So thanks to everyone for showing up, hanging out, all that stuff. And uh, let's go get the max cape, shall we? Arrived on Virgin Island. Feels good to be back. Let's get ourselves a cape. And there it is, the max cape. Feels good to have it back. This is actually super sick for us specifically, like as a ranger, because we have the ranging skill cape built into this thing. And this is our first time having an Ava's device that saves ammo for us on the account. And it stacks with our archer's relic. So we actually save like 99% of our ammo now instead of 90%. So feels good to have our new best in slot cape. And I'm going to go ahead and buy another one too to make the infernal max cape just because I like the infernal max cape. There we go. Look at this guy. That's what I'm talking about right there. What is the first boss we're going to be doing? We are going to be fighting Commander Ziliana. That's right. If you recall from the maxing grind, I was fighting Krill Sutsaroth at one point, and I got the Zamorakian Hilt at an extremely lucky KC. But Commander Ziliana, we do not have the Ceridoman Hilt. And there's a huge uh, league task to equip every single god sword, so I'm just going to hunt the Ceridoman Hilt real quick and see if we can get it. Currently sitting at 132 KC with everything but the pet and the hilt. So yeah, this is going to be the first little thing I go for is that equip every god sword task. So yeah, let's get in there. See what we can do. Oh god, I just realized I wasn't really prepared to start this fight. <laughs> we do have the ZCB this time though, which is sick because I can dump a lot of specs on her. And also, I don't think I had the axe last time I was here either. So we can hit her with the Sage's axe when she hits under, drops under 20% health. And we can get the Ceridum and hilt 1 KC. Just kidding. Oh, no way, dude. No way. This is like five kills into the video. We got it. I can't believe it, dude. What? <laughs> oh, I love this so much. I don't know how many kills I did here. I'll put it up on screen right now because I had to go back into the clips to see, but it was not a lot of kills at all. So I'm just going to take like this ancient god sword, dismantle it, pop this hilt onto here and equip it. And there we go. Equip every god sword for 400 points. I am still on an Alchemical Hydra Slayer task, and there is a 200 point League task to get 300 KC, so I guess we'll take care of this because I think we might hit the 300 during this Slayer task, so yeah, I guess we'll go do that now. Alright guys, check out what's about to happen here. 50 million cooking XP, that's 200 more points. And there's the last kill of the Slayer task. 129 Hydras down, and we have a KC of 246, so we need... Uh, 54 more to go until we get that elite task done. So I guess we'll get another Slayer task and see what we can get. And what do we get? Oh, that's a skip. Abyssal Demons in the Abyss. Okay, I guess that's um, an Abyssal Sire task. And we still need the pet, I think, is the only thing we need from that collection log. We will do this Abyssal Sire task, but not right now. Alright everybody, I got 15 Master Caskets here stacked up, and I think we can get a couple League Tasks done from these, so let's see what we get. 10 unique items from Master Clues. Twenty-five unique items from Master Clues. No Mimics yet. That's very interesting. There we go, next one's a Mimic. Mimic has been defeated, and no Third Age. And another Mimic has been defeated. Give me some Third Age. Nothing. And there's a league task for five mimic kills. Let's see if I get anything cool from the casket. It is nothing. Five more masters. And last one. Oh, bonus casket. Nothing. 22 masters. I think there's a league task for getting 25. So I'm going to trade some in and get three more caskets done. All right, there we go. We got two master caskets here. I'm hoping we can get a duplicate. We cannot. But we did get this uh, League Task 200 more points for filling 25 Master Collection Log slots. And there's our 25th Master Casket. Doesn't matter what we get, because there's the task for 25 Master Clues Scrolls, and we are done. Oh, I guess we're not done, because we got a bonus. 
no third age. <gasps> oh my god! Third age longsword in the league, what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, we're finally done. <laughs> done with what you may be asking? Well, the league, obviously. We're done with the league. Let me just uh, trade in a couple of these points right here. And there we go. 35 million defense XP. That got us 200 points and brought us up to 56,000 league points. And now we are dragon rank. Oh, man. This league did not go exactly the way I thought it was going to. I ended up getting like mega burnt out around Christmas and didn't play for like two weeks. Like the league is going to end in a, pretty much in like a day as far as me recording this right now. And there's so many things I said in episode zero where I pretty much laid out my goals for the series that I didn't get to do. I never ended up doing like solo chambers. I never got a Shadow or a Tebow or anything like that. But you know what I did do? I did get the uh, Zarite Crossbow, Full Masori. I did get to try out all the relics. I got to have fun for as long as it felt fun. And then I even did a little bit of a grind towards the end. And I got the goal of Dragon Cup, which is pretty cool. I maxed, got Dragon Cup, all that stuff. So in the end, I'd say I'm pretty happy because I don't really like playing RuneScape when I don't feel like I am having fun. So the fact that I took a break as soon as it stopped feeling fun is fine for me. So I guess I'll just go over the bank real quick. I'm not going to go over it, but I'll just kind of scroll through it. You can pause if there's anything you want to look at. This is the biggest tab right here is this gear tab. This is where we got all of our cool stuff. A lot of good memories made along the way. I had a lot of fun playing the league, but we are done. And there's the bank. So for now, I think I'm going to go get the Dragon Cup on the main game. So let me hop to a regular world and look at us. We got the best reward, the one I was the most excited about from the league is the Din's Bulwark Ornament Kit that makes it look like the Zuck Shield. This thing is so freaking sick, dude. <laughs> I love it. Um, we also got the Blowpipe Ornament Kit. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or not, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Maybe if I get like the Magma Mutagen from Zolro one day, I'll use it. But anyway, what we really want to see is claim trophies. There we go. Dragon Cup obtained on the account. So yeah, I know this last episode was really weird. It was just kind of like me highlighting the past like month <laughs> into one video. Um, but if you enjoyed the League series, then definitely drop a like on the video. Let me know. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. I really do. But the next content of this channel is going to be back to the main account, back to this account right here. Going for more collection log stuff, mainly like pets, doing PVM. Uh, I have an idea for what I'm going to do next, so I will see you guys in that video. And this has been, for the last time... The Trailblazer Reloaded series. Road to Dragon Cup, I guess. <laughs> Alright, have a good one, guys.